Welcome back to Karate Customs. I know it's been a long time since I've done a video Firebird related. But I'm back. Proforge products. I've got a Proforged Idler, tie rod adjustment sleeves, outer and inner tie rods. And the big dog, the center center or drag link. With these parts, you can rebuild the front end of your suspension. Not the A-arms, but the front end. I also have the A-arms we're going to be doing with Global West products. We're going to be using their Delalume bushings, top and bottom. Okay, so before we get, begin, first thing we're going to have to do is go take measurements of the old tie rod assembly so that we know how long center center distance should be. So let's head over there. Okay, so here we can see this is the idler directly below us right here, which then connects to the center center drag link. And on this side, you have the right hand, because remember, everything's biased from sitting in the driver's seat. So this passenger side's the right hand. And there's the left hand. You see the adjusting sleeve, and it goes down and to the end. So we're gonna grab a measurement from the center of this tie rod, from the inner, all the way down to where it connects to the spindle, the outer. Okay, now that we have that, so we just have the way. We'll begin by taking our tie rod out. You'll notice they're coated. Got your greaser, which is right there in the bag. I slid this down, but you got some nice protective finish on there. And as you can tell, obviously, one's going to be bent to the left, one's bent to the right. That's why there's different outer tie rods. Sleeves. You got two machined aluminum sleeves and two sets of nuts. So we'll begin threading. There we go. Left hand, right hand take this adjusting sleeve is four inches so the max that it'll go is two inches so there we go back it up so that it has about two inches on there and take this guy thread him all the way on no this isn't gonna work um let's get some grease and try this again Same thing. We're going to put it in, but instead of tightening it, we're going to turn it the opposite direction. So there we have an assembled tie rod. You got your inner and outer with your adjusting sleeve on it. So what you do is you come through. You measure your distance from here to here. And then you take your sleeve here and adjust it. After you're done, Take your lock nuts and your jam nuts, whatever you want to call them, and you just cinch them down on there and snug them. Well, you tighten them up. There's, you're gonna get, you're gonna wrench on them pretty good. 
At this point, we're going to go ahead and assemble the opposite side, being sure to observe the left and right hand threads and make sure that you apply grease to everything so that it's properly lubricated. And as you can see, we have two completed tie rod assemblies. The aluminum sleeve. This is one of my outer tie rods. This is, the, oops, this is the other outer tie rod. And as you can see, it's the same part number up here. 373, 373. These are the inners. So that's what you need. While we're at it, this is the idler arm. And this is the part for the center link. And this is our center link all pulled out. Notice the shape of it, the curve. Notice how it's bent at this end. Mimics the factory Firebird piece very nicely. Well, this concludes the wear and tear suspension items. Next up, we will deal with the A-arms and getting everything bolted to the subframe. But I wanted to bring to your attention the reason why I went with ProForge. They're showing a million mile warranty. To me, that's a pretty good statement that you stand behind. You believe in your product like that.